This video is intended only to supplement the written installation instructions that accompanied your product, not to replace those installation instructions. The written installation instructions should be read and available to you before you attempt to install the product. If you have any questions about the instructions in this video or are not comfortable performing the installation demonstrated, contact Manufacturer's Customer Service. Refer to the installation insert for a list of recommended tools and parts you may need. The custom panel must weigh no more than 16 pounds and be cut to the dimensions illustrated in the insert. These dimensions allow for a 4-inch toe kick. If you need a higher toe kick, you can adjust the height accordingly, but this is not recommended for models with fan-assisted dry, which have a duct at the bottom of the door that will be exposed if the toe kick is higher than 4 inches. Be aware that the supplied mounting hardware is for a 3 quarter inch wood panel. To protect the panel from moisture damage, we recommend that moisture-resistant sealer be used on both sides and all edges of the panel. Warning! Excessive weight hazard. Use two or more people to move and install dishwasher. Failure to do so can result in back or other injury. When installing the custom panel, the dishwasher should be in its upright position. The door handle should be centered on the panel and positioned 2 to 5 inches from the top edge. If the handle is attached from the back, the screw holes should be countersunk so the heads of the screws will be flush with the panel. If the handle screws are secured in the front, the screw lengths cannot exceed the panel thickness. Align the provided template to the back side of the custom panel. Make sure the center of the template is aligned with the center of the panel and the top is aligned with the panel's top edge. Then use tape to attach the template. Mark the four pilot holes on the panel as indicated on the template. Using a 3 32nd inch drill bit, Pre-drill the four pilot holes. The holes should be no more than 5 eighths of an inch deep. You can use tape to mark the drill bit to gauge the hole depth. Now attach the four plastic studs to the panel using 5 16th inch hex head screws. Next, confirm that the two pieces of custom tape are right side up and that the holes align with the keyhole slots in the dishwasher's metal door. The tape should not overhang the metal door on the top, bottom, or sides. Remove the backing and accurately align the two pieces of tape on the metal door. Now insert the custom panel studs into the keyhole slots. Slide the panel down until the top of the panel is flush with the top of the door. Warning! Tip over hazard. Do not use dishwasher until completely installed. Do not push down on open door. Doing so can result in serious injury or cuts. Gently slide the dishwasher part way into the cabinet to prevent it from tipping. Now open the door and unthread the two short screws at the top.
confirm that the top edges of the custom panel and the door are aligned. Then drill one and a half inch pilot holes into the top corners of the door using the 3 32nd inch drill bit. Again, you can apply tape to mark the bit to gauge the hole depth. Now using a T15 Torx bit, thread the 1 and 3 8 inch screws into the corners to secure the custom panel. Remove the short door screws second from the bottom on the left and right sides. As with the top corners, drill one and a half inch pilot holes. You may need a longer drill bit to avoid hitting the side of the inner door panel. Install the two remaining one and three eighths inch screws. With the custom panel fully secured, Confirm that the dishwasher door opens and closes properly 